has won the most roast battles than anyone in Pensacola. And you're going to be surprised when you see him. <laughs> Give it up for Andy Rodney! How's it going, everyone? My name's Andy Redding, or as Mrs. Ferrara calls me, Howard. <laughs> but no, uh, thanks for the intro, Andrew. That was great. Um, I've, I've had some really, really poor intros when I was uh, doing comedy for my very brief period. Uh, this one time, they asked me if I wanted to open up for a local rap music showcase. Me, Andy Redding, opening up for a local rap music showcase. I said, um, okay, I mean, it, take whatever you can get, right? So I show up there, and I, I, I mean, I, I think it goes without saying, only white person there. So I stick out like a sore thumb. Everyone's looking at me like, who the fuck are you? Why are you here? And so the DJ walks up and he recognizes me, and he was just like, oh, yo, man, what's up? Like, yeah, we're about to kick it off soon. I'm going to have you open it up. Like, I'm going to give you a little intro. I'm going to hype you up. Do you want any sort of, like, walkout song, any music to come out to? And, like, I, I was just so, like, stuck in the moment. I couldn't think of anything cool to say. So I was just like, dude, just play what you think suits me. <laughs> And he was like, all right, bro, got you. Dapped up. It was clean dap too. I felt good about it. So, so like, I'm sitting in the, in the corner, right, just kind of minding my own business, just waiting for my call up. And the guy just gets on the mic. He's like, all right, everybody, we're about to kick this shit off real quick. Opening the show. This is one of the funniest motherfuckers I know in my life. I have never met this man. <laughs> It's like, one of the funniest motherfuckers in, I've ever met in my life, Andy Redding! And I go and I get up and I go to do my little walk-in intro. Silence. Crickets. I told this man, play what you think suits me, and he played nothing. Like, I get it, I'm just that kind of bland, average-looking white dude, but nothing. Fuck, man. The disrespect. Like, I, I mean, I kind of let it slide, you know, but he doesn't really know who he's talking to. I used to be the leader of a gang. Yeah. It was in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You guys remember Grove Street? They did whatever I told them to do. Yeah, we slide tonight, boys. But, uh, no, man, growing up, Road Street, I always thought that was hard as shit, right? And I was like, I want to I wanna be in a gang. I never got invited to be in any gangs. But, you know what, you, gotta, you just got to start your own sometimes. So, me and my group of friends, we started our own gang, right? But we didn't have a cool street like Road Street. Yeah, I grew up in a predominantly, almost exclusively white neighborhood. And uh, all the street signs in my neighborhood were named after famous authors. Yeah, so I grew up on Shakespeare Way. My gang was the Shakespeare Boys. That is the least intimidating gang you have ever heard. I would just be sitting on my front porch, right? Posted up with my homies. Some kid would ride his bike down the street. And I'd stand up and he would be like, hey! To be or not to be on my block, motherfucker? That is the question. So then me and my homies, we go, just rush him, trying to kick him off his bike. And then we start losing. And I realize, oh, I'm fighting this battle solo. So I look behind me and say, homies, wherefore art thou? <laughs> then they finally show up, right? And the Chaucer boys are kicking our ass. So then the Shakespeare boys start turning on me and they're kicking me while I'm down. And I look up and say, et tu, Brute? Hey, that's tough being me. But hey, uh, the, the whole gang, 
uh, initiation. You know, I, I had to earn that. Any criminals in the house? Yeah, I don't know about uh, any of you here, but me, myself, you're looking at a hardened criminal. I spent 14 long, consecutive hours in the uh, Escambia County lockup. I got a jail nickname too, it was pretty sweet. I, uh, I was in there for a DUI, it wasn't funny. Um, but, while I'm sitting in there just minding my own business, right, I'm the only person that's just not causing a scene, so the officer pulls me aside and he goes, hey Redding, it sucks in there, right? I'm like, yeah, it does. And he was just like, all right man, I'm gonna get you out of here, but you gotta blow under a .05 so I can let you out. When I got arrested, I blew a .244. Any mathematicians in the house? Three times the legal limit. You know how possible it is to go from a .244 to a .05? Yeah. So, what he does is he gives me a sandwich and some water. He tells me go back in there and just, you know, eat the sandwich. It'll soak the alcohol up, get the water, it'll piss it all out. We'll get you out of here, right? So I start eating the sandwich, and then like, I, I, I take bites out of it, and it's fucking huge. I'm like, oh, I can barely get my mouth around it. And one of the prisoners from the other uh, end of the cell sees me, and he's just like, hey, look at this motherfucker over here eating his shit like a Big Mac. I realized it wasn't one sandwich, it was two sandwiches wrapped into one. So then I go to take it apart, and he goes, uh-uh, Big Mac. You started that shit, you finish it. So now they're all laughing at me, struggling to get through this sandwich. The officer calls me to go back to test. I told everybody like why I got the sandwich, right? So I go, I go back there to test, and all I hear from the cell block is them banging on the door. Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac, Big Mac. I go back, I take the test. Point one two. I gotta go back. Now I've let my friends down, I've let my family down, I've let my teachers down. I will tell you one thing, there is no worse feeling in the world than having a room full of criminals disappointed in you. <laughs> I hope I didn't disappoint you guys tonight though, that's my time. My name's Andy Redding.